Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Uh, I want to wish a happy anniversary to this Marty Songs channel. Uh, I really hope it'll last another year. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the awesome support. And uh, not only that, I'm going to teach you another lesson right now. Let's just get to it. All right, so the guitar is tuned down to E flat, meaning all the strings are a half step lower than standard tuning. And it's really just kind of a blues in G, and there's a lot of really cool, kind of more advanced kind of blues little intricacies in here. So let's get right to it. We're going to go like this. Um, and so what that is, is it's the fifth fret on the A string, the second fret on the D, then the uh, fifth on the D. Then we're gonna bar the top three strings here on the third fret. And as we strum down, we hammer our middle finger onto the fourth fret of the G. So all together it would look like this. Then we're gonna do ring finger to cover the G string, fifth fret, and the B string 5th fret. Back to that hammer on. So it looks like this. But then ring finger comes down onto the root right here which is the 5th fret of the D. hold this little cluster here with the middle fingers on the fourth fret of the G. And I'm going to put my ring finger or pinky on the fifth fret of the B and now that gives me um, basically like a, you could call it a G6 or a G13 and we're going to go just two staccato down strums. Exact same thing on the four chord of G, which would be G, A, B, C. C is the four chord. So you would just go right onto the 10th uh, fret of the A, and the exact same move we did in G, we'll do right here. But instead of going, we're gonna go up to a C9 chord which is going to be all along the 15th fret. So 15, 15, 15, 14, 15. Like that. So here's everything we have so far. Just like that. One more time. And you obviously, I mean, I remember before I knew. on you know trademark lick right there so we were it's gonna be fun and hopefully you'll be able to nail it in no time um, it's you know it's a huge part of the Stevie Stevie Ray Vaughan sound so here it goes uh, it's a G bend on the fifth fret of the G then third on the B, third on the high E, this is very stereotypical blues, like that. Then we gotta go sixth fret, and you can use your ring finger or your pinky finger, and you give it a little quarter, quarter tone nudge, back to the uh, third on the B again, so it will look like this, see that? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the 5th fret on the high E, so we'd have... 
right there. Now we're going to do a hammer on pull off between the, th the three and the four on the high E. So it starts, it's like three, four, three. Sounds weird when it's just played by itself, but over the blues, it, it's very, very good. So it would, here's what we have. So after we go, we're gonna go back to the six on the B, right back to that third fret E. Like that. Just kidding. So, oh, I love that. Great lick right there. Oh, so we're going to bend the, uh, and it's not even an infomercial. I'm going to bend the uh, sixth fret on the high E, up a whole step, back down, natural, then third fret, so we got, then third fret on the B, followed by the fifth fret on the G, and then it gets, you hit it once, but then it slowly gets bent. like this. Once you do that, it's going to go natural real quick and you're going to, with your index finger, you're going to do a whole step bend. So here it is. Uh, So we've got then so we have to go two times on that fifth fret of the D, then one time on the third of the G, and then finally we're at the turnaround. We're gonna do uh, three, four, five on the A string, and if you choose it. And that last note with your middle finger, you can go right into this little seven chord shape, which is um, five, four, five. Okay, so let's see, let's let's try it. Try it. I'll try and do it really slow here. That was the, uh, the, the riffs and the licks and, and all that stuff. Hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll see you guys in a, another lesson real soon. GuitarJams.com